Hey guys, Mila the Hangry Woman here and today we are doing an unboxing. I just got a huge package full of Monin syrups. So let me, oof, let me give you, let me give you the Monin realness here because ah, this just came. I have two of them, oof, two boxes this size. I should probably put them on the floor to be quite honest. I didn't think about this in the setup, but we're doing it now. Um, so I have many, many syrups that I've been really excited for and that are just gonna be really great with spring and summer drinks. This really started because of my obsession with Starbucks's pistachio latte. It has like the brown butter syrup topping and then the pistachio syrup. And I had to get my hands on pistachio syrup, but then I started shopping and I was like, oh, there's so many more syrups that I want. I'm going to just go on a shopping spree, get the free shipping, get all the syrups I need for like literally a year because I'm one person now in this coffee bar apartment of mine. And there's probably no way I'm gonna be able to drink all of these syrups, like whatever. So just FYI, if you come over to my house as a guest, you are probably getting a coffee specially made for you so that I can use the heck out of these syrups. I'm gonna be using them for recipes. I'm gonna be using them for all kinds of stuff, but I wanted to show them off to you today in this haul and just see what you guys are interested in. So leave down below in the comments if you see a syrup you like and you have an idea for a drink that you want me to do, let me know down in the comments below and I will dedicate it to you. I love doing stuff like that. So if you just let me know, I'll totally do it. <laughs> Now, before we get started with the unboxing, if you like this video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps my channel immensely, and it also just ensures that I know what kind of content you like so I can keep giving you the stuff that you guys like. Thank you so much to my subscribers. Thank you so much to my Patreon community, who is always so supportive and supports this channel. Thank you as well to any channel members that are here on YouTube. I just appreciate you guys so much, and you guys have made this community so wonderful and amazing and I couldn't do it without you I wouldn't be doing it without you and I just enjoy making these videos for you so with that let's get started and let's actually like dive into these boxes because honestly I ordered these like a week and a half ago and aside from the pistachio one can't remember what I ordered <laughs> so let's get into it okay first up is the one we were talking about so our pistachio syrup so I had been obsessed with Starbucks's pistachio latte. I'm probably gonna make one after this video. And it is one of my favorite lattes. It is so, so good. It's nutty in flavor. It is just delicious. It has just a little something that I can't put my finger on, but that I am obsessed with. And I had, I've had tweets. I think I've tweeted like three times, maybe two or three times about this latte because I enjoy it so much. I love it so much. It's absolutely delicious. So I thought that I had to get my hands on some pistachio syrup so that I could stop spending all my money and <laughs> make it at home. So I ended up with the pistachio one for my collection. I'm super excited about it. Um, and I love that it's green. The Starbucks drink is brown, obviously because of the espresso and the milk, but I'm curious if I can keep my drink kind of green um, depending on what blend of coffee I use. So we'll try that out. But pistachio syrup, definitely one of the first ones on the list. And I'm gonna keep them over here because it's just easier. Then one of my favorites of all time, just my one of my favorite flavors that I love and enjoy in cocktails, I enjoy it in uh, macarons, is passion fruit. So when I saw that Monin had a passion fruit syrup, I decided that I had to get my hands on it. And so I went ahead and bought this passion fruit one. I think this is gonna be great for like some whiskey cocktails that I'm thinking of. I think it'll be an amazing addition to some coffee, like maybe a fruitier coffee. I could see this pairing really well with like a good oat milk, like kind of like fruitiness in your coffee. Um, especially if you get like a, uh, like coconut coffee is really good with kind of uh, stone fruits like passion fruit and mango so like the Nespresso tropical coconut over ice I can see myself using this one with it. I think it'll be really good So we have passion fruit there and then we have some more down here. I Really I'm telling you I went all out when I did this um, Toffee nut was another one that I got. I really love toffee nut 
as an addition in Starbucks drinks. And so I thought might as well get my own bottle at home. So Toffee Nut is another one that I decided would be a great addition to my collection. So we've got Toffee Nut there. And then for everybody who always asks, like, yes, these are all super carb heavy um, per ounce. They vary, but they are quite a bit, sometimes anywhere from like 18 to 20 grams of carbs per ounce. So I do watch them a lot. But then I also wanted to try this one because I hadn't had it before. It is the Monin Sugar Free White Chocolate. Um, so this one I think is going to be a really interesting syrup. I love white chocolate drinks. I absolutely love using white chocolate in a lot of my coffee drinks like if you've seen my instagram in the coffee drinks that i have been making for a really long time white chocolate ends up being one of those that i get so i saw that they had a sugar-free version and i thought that i would try this one out for you guys at some point so i'll use it in a recipe let you know how it is but i thought that that would be a really good one as a good get and then i think that's it in this box but i think we do have like four more so so I'll try to get with the program on this and uh, get through this a lot faster. So I'm telling you though, when I say I went all out, I went all out. I was like, I'm already in the Monin store online. I'm not gonna like waste my time. Ooh, this one I'm really excited about. Okay, so this one I got is Cupcake. And I thought that this would be a really good one for kind of like a birthday cake coffee or just making like a good custardy vanilla coffee. Um, I saw this as one of the favorites in the Monin store. And so I was like, let's try it. It's a liter. So it's a little bit bigger than some of the other ones. And it also comes in plastic, whereas the other syrups come in glass. So we'll see. Hopefully that one's good enough that a liter is like not too much and I actually use it. Um, because like a liter is a lot for a syrup, especially when you're one person. Okay, some of the other stuff that I got, I, I'm like totally forgot about these. So I got Monin's dark chocolate sauce, which if you know, if you know, you know, I love Hollander's sauce. And so um, I wanted to try this out in comparison. I don't have a dark chocolate drizzle sauce that I can use for my drinks. So that's why I got these because these little bottles are like a nice little drizzle. And then I also got their Dolce de Leche, which I'm really, really excited about. It's basically like, you know, a, a good version of caramel. Um, just a little bit different than like maybe a salted caramel, a little sweeter, I think Dolce de Leche is, and it's a little bit, um, what's the word? More viscous, like in terms of consistency, it's a little thicker. So I thought that that would be a really great get, which is why it ended up in my box as one of the many things. And then we have two more here. So it's like crazy. I forgot that I brought all of this. Um, so we have brown butter, Monin brown butter. So I got this because the Starbucks version of the pistachio latte, the ice one and the hot, has a brown butter, uh, not whip, like a brown butter kind of foam topping. And so I didn't really know how they made that. I assumed that it was a syrup that they maybe drizzled on top. So they do the pistachio syrup in the drink and then they drizzled it on top. If you work at Starbucks, please correct me and let me know what you actually do because I did not think that they browned butter <laughs> and then drizzled that on top and put like butter in your coffee. People do put butter in their coffee for very different reasons, but I thought that it was probably a syrup that just got drizzled on top. Um, so I thought that in my quest to make a pistachio latte at home, I would do that by the brown butter syrup and then drizzle it on top of my foam and then, you know, see what happens. So I was really excited about that. And then the last one that I got, and I feel like people have been raving about this one and I think it'll go really good with my dark chocolate is toasted marshmallow. And so it got really like bright and sunny outside. It's like glowing on this thing. Um, so toasted marshmallow, I feel like has been one of those flavors that people have just talked about endlessly. Like people love this flavor. So I figured that I would make a cool s'mores drink maybe. I don't have graham crackers because I don't really eat graham crackers. So maybe just like chocolate and toasted marshmallow would be a really good uh, addition. And then if you wanted to, you could crumble some of that topping on top. But I didn't really think that I needed to do that, especially because constantly watching carbs over here. So it would be bolus worthy for sure. But I figured 
I would just work with what I had. So as you can see, most of these were not sugar-free options. Most of them did not come in sugar-free options, but I wanted to try them anyway. I don't even use the full ounce. I usually use like a teaspoon. Um, so I'm not really adding like a ton of sugar to my coffee, but it does give the flavor, which I like. And I always kind of pour an espresso shot. So I end up having a little short coffee anyway. Um, and a little mini coffee is not too bad. So I'm so excited about a lot of these flavors and just trying them out and using them in some of my drinks. And like I said, if you guys have a drink request, put it down in the comments below. I will absolutely make it for you. I'll dedicate that video to you. Um, and yeah, like of course my Patreon subscribers and YouTube subscribers get priority requests when it comes to recipe requests. However, if you really, really want something, just let me know because I have fun making them um, and just coming up with really fun concoctions for coffee. But that's it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this unboxing and there are some flavors now on your radar from the Monin store. I'm not going to have to buy syrups for a very long time here. I have plenty <laughs> of syrups and sauces at this point, so I'm going to be good for a while. You might not hear from me with another haul for some time, but I'm going to stock these up on my coffee shelf, put them on my little coffee bar table that I'm still getting ready. I'm still trying to get all of that set. I have one more thing to get delivered, and then I can give you guys my coffee bar tour and coffee bar setup because I set up a new version of my coffee bar in my apartment it is so cute and just like my little morning nook that i absolutely love so we'll get to that as soon as all the final pieces come together so you can see it and i can tell you where i got everything but other than that i am going to go enjoy making a pistachio latte for myself because i have been craving it i want it so bad <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed. So I'll probably make a video of me making that for y'all as well so that you get a recipe for the pistachio latte because it is a seasonal drink. It's probably going to go away. And I'm really glad now that I have the pistachio syrup to make it at home at any time that I want. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.